everyone in today's video I will be talking about how you can choose the correct size throttle body for your application in this video I will be talking about uh, why is it important effects on the power band important considerations final thoughts and a 4AG 20 valve example and test for real-world conditions so firstly why is it important to properly size your throttle body well, if your throttle body size is too small or too big, you can hamper the power band, which is the second topic right here. If it's too small, you would uh, improve your lower end, but if it's too big, you will hamper your lower end. So you need to consider what you would be using your engine for, be it uh, an all-out race engine or if you're just hunting around town usually uh, the recommended situation here is that if you have an engine that you would be just using around town is that you would choose a small size throttle body and if you're going for an all-out race engine, you would then choose a, a big size throttle body. But big and small is too vague. So how can you go about this? So I'll be going into the 4AG example now. So from the factory, Toyota chose a 45 millimeter size throttle body for the 20 valve black top engine so uh, hold on the formula for choosing your throttle body size is the displacement of your engine divided by how many cylinders you have so 1.6 divided by 4 equals 0.4 Then you multiply 0.4 by the maximum RPM that you would be using. So in this example, for the 4AG 20 valve blacktop, it's 7500 RPM. So 0.4 multiplied by 7500 is 3000. Then you would uh, carry this 3000 to the power of uh, 0 0.5 that would equate to 54.7722 let's just call that 55 then you would multiply 55 by the by 0 0.8 And that would give you 43.817, let's call that 44 millimeters. So not too far off. That's where the other aspect I was talking about. Test for real world conditions. As I said earlier, Toyota used the 45 millimeter for their 20 valve, 20 valve blacktop 4AG engine. And what we got here is 44 millimeters from the calculation. So, in saying that, I believe that Toyota deemed it necessary to go a millimeter over just to get a little bit more top end for the 20 valve black top. So, as for the formula, that would be your engine displacement. Let's say again it's 1.6 liters divided by how many cylinders you have and multiplied by the maximum RPM so uh, or let's just say your red limit rev limit which is 7500 in the case of the factory 4AG 20 valve blacktop and after you get that you carry that to the power of 0 0.5 and multiply it by 0 0.8 to get your values 
So as another example, what if you were using your engine for day-to-day -day use and you have, let's say, a 45 millimeter throttle body and what you would actually be needing was only a 43 to accomplish the job. So in that case, I would just opt for the 43 since it would uh, improve the low-end response and and low end response and torque and that's very good for day to day use unlike, unlike the 45 that would sacrifice the bottom end and increase the top end so which is what we don't want in that case because we don't want to get fined for revving the engine or racing whomever down the street so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys like the video and if you like the video do leave a like comment and subscribe and do do tell me down below what would you guys want to see next uh calculation on compression ratios uh, cylinder volume or what just tell me down below and i'll be happy to oblige thank you and see you again